Today's review is from a knife loaned to me from my friends at White Mountain Knives at whitemountainknives.com. Whenever you get a chance, check them out. Fantastic customer service, great selection of knives, and great prices. That's whitemountainknives.com. Hey guys, this is Joe, and I'm coming back to you today with a review that I was very much looking forward to doing. Ever since I got the uh, first Kaiser by accident, which I'll put a link in the upper right corner for that video, um, realizing how the quality of the blades that they come out with, I was psyched to do another one. They've come out with a lot of uh, Kaisers recently that I like, but uh, I was able to get this one for review purposes. And this one is the Kaiser Tomcat, the KI4450 TI1. Thank God they, they're starting to name their, uh, their knives now because to remember all that is, will be pretty difficult. So let me take you around it. This is the box. It's the standard box. Ooh, it's not focusing. All right, there you go. That side. Nothing on the bottom, and there's the barcode. Okay, so now I've already had this one out, and I was checking it out, going through the motions. Now this is a loner, so I can't really say um, how well the sharpness is, but let's go over it this so way you can you can see it. Okay, here we have it. I'm gonna. Go over some stats with you. I'll post the stats as well. Uh, before we get to the stats, let's get a quick view. I'll give you my overall of what I like about it. If there's anything I don't like about it, and here it is, opened up. Let me zoom back a little bit. So, let's go over some stats. The overall length of the whole knife is eight and a half inches. I still need to zoom back a little bit. The, uh, the blade is 3.63 inches. The blade material is a CPM-S35VN. It's uh, a drop point sheep's foot uh, blade, full fat, full, full fat, full flat grind, excuse me, stone wash finish, titanium handle, hence the last part of the name, the TI-1 for titanium, and it's a tip-up pocket clip, which also can, can be changed for both, both sides. Now again, like I said, I can't cut anything with it. Now the last Kaiser was seen pretty sharp and this one doesn't seem to disappoint either. So let's get some close-up views. There's the blade. Now I love worn cliff blades. And I like full fat grind and I like uh, sheep's foot. So this has got a, a little bit of everything. So if it, all, if it had a mirror polish finish it would probably be my ideal knife of all time. But this is a really nice knife. It goes for about, on, on most of the popular uh, knife sites, it goes for about like $200. Let me show you the centering. It is dead on, and hopefully the camera's catching that. Now, this titanium handle is pretty nice. I'm not going to say it's as grippy as, as like some G10 and stuff, but it's pretty nice. Has a nice feel in the hands. You see everything going on here. Now it's a liner lock. 
I'd say lockup is about 50%. Hopefully that's coming in. Okay. Now I must say, Kaiser really makes some quality knives. This is like true crafts, craftsmanship, top, top to bottom. Now, I'm, I'm pretty much singing the praises of everything about this knife. And, you know, there is maybe one little thing here and there that I like. Well, first of all, one could argue the price. A lot of people associate, you know, like a Chinese company being, you know, it shouldn't be that high a price knife. But really, that's not a problem here. I mean, the quality of the materials, the quality of the craftsmanship, the, the overall just superior the superior look of the blade, this is worth $200. So really that's not a negative, but I'm only bringing that up because to some it might be a negative. There's some markings. Again, like I said, I can't I can't cut anything with it because this one's just for review purposes, but I wanted to make sure that you guys had a chance to see it. Because this is a beautiful knife. Now, as for hot spots, this is probably one of the rare negatives. I am not loving this this clip. I mean, yeah, it is a it is a deep deep carry, as you can see, because that's where it would go in your pocket. So you only don't have too much sticking out. But I don't know. I'm not digging this clip. It just it doesn't feel right with the hand. It just feel I can't put my finger on it. But I think if I own this knife, I would probably change the clip out. Something more flat. Something that's not sticking up like this. So I'll say that's a negative. You know, just it rubs against my hand anyway, and I, I, I'm not, I'm not feeling that clip. So anybody who would, uh, you know, that's into buying modified clips or high-end clips, I think I would probably modify this knife and get a different clip. Um, the flipping, I think. With the last Kaiser, I said the same thing, uh, but also you, anybody who likes to flip knives knows that sometimes just breaking it in is uh, that's all it need, that's all a knife really needs. Now I don't, I'm not going to have time to break this one in, but as as it is right now, it, it just needs a fling of the wrist. Like see if I just see what I'm saying. If I just do that, it's not really going to go on its own. I mean it's not assisted opening, but but that's not a really a deal killer for me because just a little fling of the wrist and you have it and I also think that over time that's going to open up much easier. So let me show you size comparison or not with another knife but with the trusty Honest Abe. Let's put it down there. So there you go. I know I stated the sizes and everything. But at least you can get a visual view of uh, what it looks like. So, with that said, um, there really is nothing, not much, not to like about this knife. This knife is beautiful. It feels sharp. Made of quality materials. This is probably going to be another big seller for Kaiser. Feels other than the pocket clip, it feels good in the hand. I mean, knowing me, if I was gonna get a, uh, if I was gonna get a pocket clip, I'd probably in the interim, I'd probably just take this one off, I'm just in the meantime, and do without it. Uh, the other, one other negative, the jimping on the back, it's kind of smooth. I don't don't feel like it's really, really needed. I mean, yeah, it needs jimping. Uh, let me rephrase that. But this is not a good one. But that's not, again, that's not for me, that's not a real deal killer either. I noticed also that the pivot, you could see right through it. I have that in my pictures that I'll be showing you. As you can see, you can see my finger go right through. But well, there's a nice close up shot. So, if you're tired of getting Spydercos and Benchmades and Kershaw's and you're trying to venture off into something new you could do a heck of a lot worse than Kaiser. Kaiser is a really good company 
And if they keep putting out knives like this, it's going to be tough to beat. So there you have it. One last time opened. This is the Kaiser Tomcat KI4450 TI1. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.